Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Bionicle one. And the, today we are reviewing a couple of the Vaki sets from 2004. So, uh, the blue one, Vordak, and the green one, Vorzak. Well, kind of not so thoughtful with the names, and stuff, but I'll mention that in a bit. But on front of each booklet, See the set that there is, the, the set number, the logo, and everything. On the back, DVD and VHS of which, for the second movie of which, and some screenshots of it. How to win on the online survey with, of course, click it, which, as I hear at this time, that which they are still yet to introduce as uh, dots in upcoming 2020, and yeah. And then you got after the Metro Matoran and the add-on disc packs, and then add for the telemetry sets, add for the three Titan sets. Expect Nadiki's review next next throwback Thursday, add for the two combiner models that there are, add for all the Vaki sets, and since even though they're all clone sets, and don't know if you can notice this, but that the names of each one all have app has rack in them. So I guess they weren't so clever with the names and all. Same within the Visorak and yeah, the Visorak. And probably Bullrock. So a little bit of a laziness factor, but whatever. Then a little bit of instructions for the combiner models. And then how to fold them up into the canisters, of course. So, all this usual stuff and map of Metro Nui and some shots from each of the short videos of there. And then other one, same stuff. And so now on to the sets. So with this one, is that for the legs of which starting with the legs of Oh, which are the same as all the Toa Mata, the Toa Mata feet pieces in gray, and then the new, or I mean, new at the time, the lower leg piece, probably variated from the Toa Metru ones and Vaki ones, and or Rakshi ones, yeah, and then same exact uh, connector as the Metru, but without any armor added to it. And the waist pieces they've used for many other sets. So, and but as for the upper body of which, same as from the Rockshees, but and same function gear function as the Rockshees. And also the same piece as the Coley Matorans. And Mata arms of which and then the diff and the tool weapon areas. Or different weapons. And since this is a particular one, since in this kind they have used sometimes a witch. Can put on like so. But also with a couple other different ones can like go opposite and whatnot. And then the head area. Or at least the top part of the witch. Which were exclusive to these sets. And never used with anything else. But the head area, well, the head, which were exclusive to this, well, at least until uh, Makuta and the Mystica line in 2008 kind of used it, and Rudaka in 2005 also did. But also, this head build is also shared with the DP, but that's a whole other video. But as how all the Metro sets had different uh, colors or two colors for the heads, well, this would also does. And hi, either here and here is where you uh, pinch and launch the Kanoka disc out. And although what was often annoying is how the Kanoka discs of which were the same ones used with all of the, with the Metro Matorian. And often cool with these is how they oftentimes glow in the dark.
Will you see this glow in the dark? Yay, still glows after all these years. How cool. Oh, which was awful cool. But also with some of these blocky sets, there were a few that were opaque with the Mask of Time on making it the Disc of Time. Also includes the actual Mask of Time, but in orange. Kind of like that. So as... Uh, Anyways, I'll show that with the other one. But as for the only other black here, which, which is the green one, but also with this one's tools, which are little scissors, is that these of which were used on the Metro movie. Metro new movie. And interesting is that with the red one, it had a green uh, head part of it. So they were the two Christmas colored ones. It's a witch interesting. But, yeah. And for the main features of all these Vakis, which they have carried since the Bull Rocks, that they have a transformation. Flip the arms around and flip the head around. And then it's there in its galloping form or something. Okay, so I. Oh, which was kind of cool for that. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So, overall, I think these of which were pretty cool villain sets at the time, even though these were all clone sets, like they did for many other heroes. but also a little innovative of sets at the time, different movable pieces and everything. And also good mocking pieces overall, and yeah. And well, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, uh, if you had some good nostalgic memories of them, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, well, go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.